Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb, you're you, and this is XCOM Terror from the Deep. Onwards. Actually, could I see... Is it refueling? Because it's not refueling, I want to see. Uh-huh, just that's fine. And if boss gun is on Shiva, let's sell those because <laughs> we are kind of out of funds. Yeah, let's sell those. Um, boss cannons. I made about 30,000 per, so it's not exactly a great source of income. But it is a quick one, it doesn't require anything special, so... That's all I can really do. Okay, so we finished the aqua armors on deep water. Transfer those, please, to Gojira. Um, so I want to make SWSs. Sonic displacers, I think. I don't think I want to use the PWTs. Or it's a whole bunch of Zerbite though. That's 90 Zerbite I'm going to be paying. Yeah, um... Let's focus on uh, Sonic and Ghost Cannons for a bit. Obviously we can't afford this. Probably head over there and start selling. Well, I still can. Scientist for deep water, finally, now I can do some more research. I don't think I should have done ages ago. Get more science, scientists going. I'm gonna do all these special projects first. Study those things. <laughs> Immediately goes into excellence, so yeah, the, those projects are gonna go much faster. Still wants to find my base. Let me give him the chance. So ideally one of one attack is say an Aquatoid or a Gilman Supply Cruiser. That's what I really want, the down one. Not a down one, I mean, sorry, a uh, landed one. Because then I'm, I can guarantee that there's going to be Cerbite and a whole bunch of Aqua Plastics. And that's one reason why you want to keep bases uh, intact. So you can raid the Supply Cruisers. My problem is, has been that the, my bases have been too far away from where I had my... Uh, uh, my uh, interception submarine, but now he might be able to get there in time. That's what I want to see before I eventually destroy uh, or alternately destroy the base. Okay, uh, ba -ba -ba. first of all, cell sack, whatever we have here. As much as I want to make more mantas. I think we have to stick to cannons for a while. Just build our way up to, I don't know, a million. A million. Okay, Gojira. Do not base information, wrong button. Uh, Aquato Aquanauts, that's the one. So... Let's just verify that everybody gets uh, a suit. You get a suit, and you get a suit, and you get a suit too. Uh, three. I'm off by three. Something's still in transfer. Base information transfers. I was off, off by three. Okay. Either that or I transferred to, to the wrong base. Oh well. Guess I have to make more. 
But I don't really want to do that just yet. Sell these two. And one reason we're making gold cannons is that they don't require input material. Which is kind of a big deal. Alien cryogenics, uh, the innumerable aliens that have uh, lain hidden on the earth, on the earth, uh, are held in suspended animation, cryogenically frozen. All the creatures are sealed into units, their bodies, their body temperature reduced to the point where bodily functions are all but stopped. An examination of the units so far reveals the unbelievable time periods that the bodies have been kept suspended for, some over 60 million years. That's nice. Um, I guess we'll get started on the squad leaders and everything. Just get through them. We don't need the soldiers at all. The soldiers won't give us absolutely nothing. But the others just might give us something. There we go, the PWT defenses. Pulse Vite torpedoes provide the most effective defense against alien attacks. These missiles have super dense warheads which can penetrate all known armor. The magnetic waves they produce disable electronic defenses which is pretty darn awesome. Takes a fortune to build and a fortune to... or a vast amount of time to build, but a vast amount of time as well. But it's good. And we're gonna go straight into the bombardment shield. PWT defenses combined with bombardment shields are fantastic and makes you pretty much invulnerable. But again, the cost. I need monies. Uh, Plaque Cruiser. Uh, unfortunately, I... Did, uh, Okay, uh, options, save, I think, this is the one, we're actually gonna go and intercept a submarine. Leviathan 1, go after alien sub-119. Wait a second. Colony supply mission, it landed outside the base. Not that it matters. We've also intercepted and I don't think we're gonna have a problem with that. It's gonna be a nighttime mission. I'm not too worried though. It's a supply cruiser, so they shouldn't have a ton of the um, big bada booms. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call them. The big bada booms. Uh, none of our soldiers equip those by default, by the way. Okay. Um, well, some. Do I need the MC readers? I don't, actually. Can I uh, see your stats? We need to find someone who is. Uh, Strong, I believe. Strength, 23. Ah, uh, whoops! Not what I meant to do. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, well. I guess we're in it now. I mean, we have the uh, bombs there anyway, so I can pick them up on the way out. I just meant to go through the... Uh, through my troops. To determine... Um... Hang on. Oh, wait, is that the exit? Again, this... Uh, uh, how many exits does this thing have? Two? Are you kidding me? Are you seriously telling me this thing has only one exit on this side? That's it? Uh, that's crap. Oh, well, okay, fine. Uh, then I need to find out where the hell we leave, left our stash. All the way in front. Yeah, there, that's where our stash lies, beneath the uh, tank. Ah well. And apparently there's some invisible object there. Great. Can I go up? I can, and we can see someone. In the dark. Can you shoot someone in the dark? Apparently, we cannot. Okay, let's see if... Uh, can you get there in time? You have more time units. Got it. Go there. Um, yeah, you can't shoot either. Boo! Well then. 
crazy. We can go there. We can turn. Can you hover in just six time units? No. Okay, buddy. I think you're gonna go down again. Stay safe. You stay here. Hover tank. Go there. You can go over here and pick up one of the big guns. Yeah, Boris, you're gonna have all the fun. Uh, next turn. Next time you'll have all the fun. Um, can you go down there? Yeah. Can you cross this? No, you can't. Dang it. Oh, no matter. Not much else I can do. Yeah, this layout is actually pretty bad then. It looks ugly too. The Leviathan really looks ugly. Compared to, uh, say, the. What was it called? The final one in the first XCOM? The Avenger? I forget what it's called, but it's much better. It's much cooler. Much cooler. Grumble. Now, this is an assault, so there should be a billion aliens crawling about here. But there are also gill men, so they should not uh, do any psi attacks. Not that it matters too much against uh, this particular crew. Okay, let's see, can I still see him? I can still see him. He's still right there. Now we can do an aim shot. And you still miss. Go you. Okay, your turn to hover. That's more like it. Okay, Tracy, advance. So you still can't actually see the things on the ground here. Ugh, can you see the sub itself? No. It looks like it's a fair bit away from us now. Okay, I need to bring this thing out here. And I think we're gonna keep it on the ground. Yeah, if I had more of these, I would feel a lot more secure, I think. Because the hovercrafts, if I recall correctly, I have 100% vision, even in the night. Unlike your foot soldiers, who are kind of blind. Right, you were supposed to pick up the big guns, I forgot that. Boris, pick up another one of those. And uh, you're gonna hang out right here, I think, for now. Well, actually, no, it should be safe for you to be out here. You're gonna go down here and pick up more big guns, Tim. Hmm. Can I put one in the belt? Yes. All units to put a thing in the belt. Sounds uh, good. The rest of you just start fanning out. You should be okay. Famous last words, I know. <laughs> you can go like two steps and then you have to <laughs> save for the snapshot. Oh well. That is uh, kind of bad. These guys are absolute rookies. So yeah, we'll see how uh, they fare later on. Yeah, you can wait, and that's fine. Okay, someone's out there in the darkness. And we're doing this just for the Zerbite. We desperately need Zerbite. Any sighting on the craft? Okay, it's gonna be over here somewhere then, probably. The big thing, so I'm kinda surprised you haven't seen it yet. 
What about now? Really? Not that over there? No. I think we're gonna go down if we could. Can't go there. What about here? Okay. Uh, Tim, you're picking up more big, big bada booms. There you go. I think we're gonna keep Tim and Boris parked right there. see that part of the map before you got here, but oh well. Uh, what would you do if I... Okay, you're gonna go around. Good. I wasn't entirely certain if it would go around or if it would try to hover over or something. But that's fine. We're gonna take some pot shots, I'm fairly certain. But hopefully we can uh, revive those. Don't destroy my tank. Cost me 30 servite. So, uh, let's see, find the tank first. Tank to acquire. Wait, are you kidding me? That killed the tank? No, okay, never mind. <laughs> the tank is hovering. Oh, well, you weren't injured, so that's good. I thought the tank was on the ground. It wasn't. Uh, but I mean, that's fine too. Definitely someone here. There they are. Okay, uh, so I want to find a rookie. Or someone. You, Orski. And Paul. Yeah, Paul, you're good. Paul, take an aim shot. Oh, come on, line of fire. Um... What about you, Miss Orska? Do you have a line of fire? Because if you do... <laughs> well, um, that was unintended. She missed the one we were aiming at, but she hit someone else. Go you! <laughs> and now you actually see the alien too. Nice. Um... How do you have a line of fire, but you don't? There we go, you can actually see him now. Okay, take an aim shot. There we go. Uh, still no sighting of the sub, right? No. But I reckon this is the, the direction we need to travel. Um, go down. Not the sub right there. That's the sub. Okay, we found it down here. That's uh, good. Which also means it's reasonably, reasonably safe to approach from that direction, I guess. That's a problem. Um, <laughs> I can't put away your gun. I need to put it down there. And same thing with you. Though I'm not going to use those things just yet. Not just yet. Okay, that means I kind of need you to move towards the submarine. I need my rookies to get some experience and things. Um, so, hover up. Start moving. 
And uh, don't reset for snapshot because otherwise you'll never make it over there. So if you are a rookie, just hover your way all over the tank. Uh, you are not a rookie, so you're gonna go and sweep. Oh, there's not gonna be anyone down here. But that's okay. Um, up with you, Missy. You go. Ludmilla is kind of doing a sweep too. But I don't think there's going to be anyone down in that corner. If there are, they'll shoot at her right now. Okay, someone's next to the hover tank again. Uh huh. I really don't want the hover tank to live. Even try to stun it. As long as the hover tank is still there, it is. Did it take damage? The big question. It still didn't take damage. So there's a stunner over there and someone with an actual kill gun over here. I think we'll focus on the kill gun. And there he is. Okay, so let's see if we can find a rookie. That's not a rookie. I think my rookies were hovering around here. Yes, Ludmilla. I'm about to take an aim shot in the dark there and kill him. Tootsie. Just like that. Just like that. Uh, I should probably not have done that actually, in case there's more. There's probably another one out here. I think we got shot at twice. I think we were. But maybe not. Find the other guy then. And there he is. Let's find another rookie. Can you not shoot your friends from that angle? You can do that, Maria, right? You can, you know, not do friendly fire. Good Maria. Very good Maria. Very good indeed. Heck, you know what we can do? We can just uh, scout the whole area with a hover tank and then send these guys up to the third level. Because then there won't really be any obstructions. They will always have a line of fire. And the aliens will never see me. I could do such a thing. Uh, over over here please and then go down. As long as I have the hover tank, I don't really want to <laughs> jeopardize my soldiers by running too fast towards the craft. And I don't want to use the big bada booms until I have to. I got a little bit more far forwards. Yeah, I think this corner is clear. I don't think the aliens would have left him, let them be there without shooting at him. Same thing here, so... Let's start moving up the brush. On that side of the map, there's the big honking thing. We're obviously gonna go in and assault it from the top because we know we can enter there without using explosives, even. Which is rather nice. So, how many dead aliens so far? One, two, three, four, five? Yeah, five down. I don't remember how many are aboard this thing. But five down is the start. Okay, they are definitely inside the craft, if nothing else. No one took shot at, shots at us, so I'm fairly certain there aren't any more hiding in the wreck here. Which is good. I mean, again, again mostly the uh, aliens you find early on are uh, soldiers. Oh, there, there was another one inside here. And uh, now you are going to be a bit more obnoxious to hit from afar. In fact, I don't think I can get a line of sight on you from anywhere. Because you're inside the wreck there. Okay, Sonic Tank, uh, just uh, 
take two shots. One was enough. Nice. And, uh... Do we sweep the perimeter for you? I suppose we do. Just in case something's out there. Just in case something's out there. <laughs> There's something out there. There's something out there. There's something out there. Anyways, time for a break, I think, before I lose my mind. Thank you for watching. <laughs>